your boy Jackman here for Game Turn, and we're here today I'll be showing you uh, Hexit. I'll make a little review of it, and so far, for as long as I played it for, it looks amazing. It kind of reminds me of Skyrim and so on, and uh, there's a lot of things to do, a lot has been added and so on. Um, challenges are, um, not challenges, sorry, the uh, villages are much bigger and so on. There's a bunch of new stuff and so on so let's kinda get to it first thing I don't like about this mod pack is the mini map because it's a circle and kinda defies everything and it's a bit stupid but you know what whatever there's a bunch of new trees too as you can see uh, if this is the mini map if you go in the me menu and this is the uh, the tower like usually there's like more than one level and so on and like each level you go through is much harder and so on at the top of the tower usually there's like a uh, a monster type thing and once you kill it the whole thing uh, goes down and so on. it's pretty cool this is just the forest no big deal there there's also what I think it's quicksand or something like that and you just fall through you know it would be very good for um, what you call it, adventure maps. I think it'd be really cool. It's just me. Keep going over it. I don't know why. Uh, Anyways, there's a bunch of cat. There's a lot of. I think they use mode creatures and so on because there's uh there's birds and everything. It's really cool. And yeah, that's the Akira tree. I think that's the name, that's the name of it. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's really cool. It really does feel like uh, Skyrim and so on. It's almost like a... Uh, oh, my uh, chunks aren't loading there. It's just like an RPG game, basically. In here, I found like a, uh, a good cave to show you like some other details about caves and so on. It looks much better. I don't know what that, sty what that white stuff is, so... I don't know. Um, but as you can see, everything much lo it looks much nicer. There's skeleton heads here and there, there's ores, ores are much easier to find, there's icicles and so on. It's really cool and really well done. And you can find diamonds and so on at any level. Uh, it, it's awesome. As you can see here, look at that, sexy. Then there's other types of monasteries and uh, towers and so on which are really cool and there's a lot of cool stuff in it and here I just picked a fight with an enderman no biggie yeah I decided to be very cruel with them but yeah it's pretty cool uh, the, uh, the uh, structures generated are really awesome they look amazing as you can see and they're huge too like just look at that here for some reason I lagged out completely and it was single player so I don't know why I did it but whatever I guess not quite sure what the challenge is in this place but it seems like it's part of like a storyline I'm not sure I'm gonna. I would have to look that up, but I'm lazy right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Here, uh, here. If I go all the way to the bottom, you can see there's a whole um, boss fight looking like type thing. And like in each chest, there's a lot of loot, which is really cool. 
and there's staffs and so on like this one for example it heals whatever you hit like any entity uh, NPCs and so on as I may demonstrate in a second there's a zombie it just heals them which is pretty cool But yeah, it's awesome. Like, there's a ton of new swords and so on. And I feel like it's not as technologically as van advanced as Tech It. But on its own, it's very advanced. Like, it's awesome. I don't know how to explain it. It does lag me out a little bit, to be fair. I might just do a let's play on it. Might not. I don't know yet. We'll see. And by the way, on the ground, those are not torches. They're a type of plant that light up at night. And then during the day, they close down. And this, I don't know what that is. Uh, there's bunnies. Uh whatever that's awkward and then this I did not understand at first like I don't know I'm not sure what it is if anybody could help me uh, just hit me up as a comment or something because I'm not really sure what this is supposed to do like be like there's a whole half sphere on top above me it's like a monastery type thing yeah, there's a whole thing. It's very tall. It's very high up. Looks amazing though. Not going to lie. But yeah, I'm not sure what it is. It's probably some kind of a challenge thing. I don't know. Long way down. Wee. Okay. And then here's the, one of the villages. They are much bigger and much more advanced. And there's all this stuff. I don't know what it is. Uh, you could put your sword in there, though. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um. Yeah, it's running on 1.5.2, which is pretty cool. And I'm guessing that's a tree. Yeah, it's a tree. It's a weird tree, though. Really cool, though. You're never gonna have issues getting wood again if you cut that down. Yep. And then there's you know horses from mo mo creatures and so on. Giraffes, sunflowers that are not in the sun. But yeah. Also, like in your uh, in your hot bar, I know right now I'm not looking at it, but you can see your status and so on, and um, like night vision and strength and that kind of stuff. And then you can also see the health of the stuff or of your armor and so on. It's really cool. Yeah, I can imagine people making adventure maps of like Skyrim status on this mod pack because you really could. It's that cool. And then uh, these placer things are freaking awesome. You can make stuff like there. I just met a cemetery and so on, and there's a cow just cock locking. But forget that. It's really cool. It's really, really, really cool. This is the o Oasis. I think that's how you say. It. Uh oh. Yep. That's bloody top. Let's 
so I might, um, this is the labyrinth, I'm pretty sure it's, um, I, I might do like an adventure thing with my mates, Carlton and Dylan with this. It does really look, it really does look cool. Maybe you can do like, um, like a whole challenge, see who does it first. I think it'd be fun. Something's going on with my status and so on. I don't know what the. Oh, that's a pyramid. That's a pyramid. A really cool thing about the mini map, actually, I just realized, is that it updates where you go. Otherwise, it's only black. But if you go back, it's normal. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. See ya.